Namaskara, hello. E video le we will solve a four mark surface area volume question. Okay, shall we start? In question, a toy is in a form of a cone connected on a hemisphere. One hemisphere is there, other male one the toy, you know, other male one the cone is A cone at the hemisphere is a toy. If the diameter of the conical portion is 6 cm, and the E diameter is 6 cm, and the height is 4 cm, 4 cm height is there, find the surface area of the toy. This is a mark question, this is a 4 mark question, but actually a simple application problem. You have to know certain things, and after that, you just have to apply the formula. Formula and apply the formula, you will be able to solve this problem. Let us see what the steps are. First thing is the total surface area of the toy is equal to total surface area of the toy. Toy, the Allah surface area is equal to curved surface area of the conical portion. And the E portion is the Allah. Cone the Rayruvanta portion. Other curved surface area. Yak bari curved. Why not base? Because base is hidden. Plus curved surface area of hemisphere. So, bari conical surface area matra la so hemispherical base. Other surface area, other curved surface area also has to be taken into account. So, aware than add matter, if you add those two, you get the total surface area of the toy. You get total surface area of the toy. What is the rule? What is the formula for curved surface area of a cone? Curved surface area of a cone is given by pi multiplied by radius of the cone multiplied by slant height. Yeah. You will not be able to solve this problem. You have to remember that the fact that curved surface area of the cone is pi r l where l is a slant height. Okay, we slant height. Radius of the cone is Yes. So, radius of the cone is given as radius equals 3 cm. Where did we find this 3 cm? We found this 3 cm from this. Not it? 3 cm will go here. Okay, fine. Now, how do you find slant height? Because that's the other one that we need to know. Slant height is given by square root of, this is Pythagoras theorem, h square multi plus r square. h square, you know, height. This height square plus r square, which is 3 cent 3 square, gives you the slant height. So, I'll do 4 square plus 3 square. This is a standard Pythagorean uh, combination. So, 4 square plus 3 square is 25, which is square root together, 5 centimeters. So, you get 5 centimeter as a slant height. So once you know the slant height, what is that you can do for the curved surface area? Curved surface area of the cone easy. But we have to find the curved surface area of the hemisphere, which is 2 pi r square. Again, this you have to remember the formula. 2 pi r square and then you have to remember. As in up you will not be able to do this problem. What is the radius of the hemisphere? Radius of the hemisphere is same, 3 centimeter. See, it's given here. 3 centimeter is the radius. So now if you add these two, you will get pi r l, which is the surface area of the cone, and 2 pi r square, which is the surface area, curved surface area of the hemisphere. If you add these two, you get pi r as common, and L plus 2R as the thing that is within the bracket. It is equation. Then substitute, you can do, so pi R is 3, L is, we found out it is 5 centimeter, 2 times R, 2 times R is 6. So pi times 3 times 5 plus 6, which is 11. So pi times kind of 33, Pi in a 22 by 7 and the use martha the way. 22 by 7 multiplied by 33 is if you simplify, you get 726 divided by 7, which if you further simplify, you get 103.71 centimeters square. Okay. You do quite straightforward calculation. Once you find the value of slant height and once you know the curved surface area of the cone equation and if you know the formula for curved surface area of the hemisphere, you will be able to do this. So, this problem is solved by the curved surface area of the cone and curved surface area of the hemisphere are 
you have to know the formula and you should also know how to find the slant height. So, the Pythagoras theorem is used And you should also know that you should not add the base. This base is not base because it is hidden. This base is not added. But the curved surface area is not added. The base area is not added. Okay. Hopefully, you have understood how to solve this four mark question. In the future videos, we will solve other questions. This explanation is the first time I will see you in the next video. I will see you in the next video. Bye!